Hello and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do, or we're going to start, a short um, series of um, mass production on a small scale uh, with the CNC router. Uh, now this is a, a trivet, three-dimensional trivet, and I've actually got three of them. I made three all at the same time. Um, so what I did, I just wrote a very, very short uh, program in AtCam to cut this pattern and then um, put a plank on the uh, CNC router and cut one side of it in that shape and the other side of it in that shape and then cut around them, cut them off, sanded them, varnished them and that was this it. series is really to, to show you that a small 6090 uh, router machine is quite capable of um, doing small production runs and they will work 24, 24 hours a day if you wish them to uh, and it's more than possible to put a, a full uh, sheet or should we say several planks in actual fact I can uh, I could set this machine up to make four of these across and I think seven seven rows maybe possibly eight um, so really all you would have to do uh, was would be start the machine off and um, let's do its thing and then just turn the individual planks over um, each time you wanted to change a process so um, we'll show you a very short process of making three of these all in one go and I hope you like it okay so what I've done I've set up the material nice and square to the machine bed on here and I've actually pre-drilled uh, three holes here for the centers so when I turn it uh, around I know I'm exactly uh, in the center so we're actually going to machine both sides uh, so I've uh, zeroed the machine up to this first um, trivet here and um, we're going to cut the slot <laughs> Basically, that's uh, that's one side done. It just needs a very I, look. I could write the program to run around this and uh, take the burr off, but uh, 
it's probably quicker if I did it by hand with a piece of emery or a piece of um, glass paper or something. Um, so anyway, let's call that one side done. So now we're going to flip it over and zero to each of these uh, centre holes here and cut the, set the other side. Define where our holes are and then zero to them. Okay, I've zeroed the, uh, the tool now and um, we'll just fire it up and see how it cuts. the pattern goes all the way through. We've actually broken through to the other side where we did the straight line uh, patterns. So what I need to do now uh, is cut them out with the, using this CNC machine because what I wanted to do I, I want rounded corners. So uh, to enable me to do as least amount of machining by hand as possible while you get the CNC to do it for you. But for me to cut them out, I just need to clamp them. Actually, 
for me to cut them out with the CNC machine, I just need to clamp them down a little bit uh, just to make sure that they don't um, move uh, when we're coming to the last cut and dig into the side of it and make a mark. So just simply clamp it down so it's sufficient. Well, I hope you find this video quite informative and I hope you like seeing how these are made. Um, the sort of value of these, I, I suppose you could sell these in a market somewhere for maybe $15, $20 each. So you can actually make a living with these small machines. So um, if you've liked watching this uh, video today please subscribe to my channel um, the red box down there if you press on that that will take you to my YouTube channel where there's well over a hundred videos now for you to have a look at at uh, different projects the computer CNC programs Rages. that uh, you put these things together with which is uh, at cam in my case um, Mark 3 which is the program that runs the machine or administers the program to the also, machine. Also you'll find wood turning and different other shop projects that I do around here. So uh, please press like All and I have to do now is say bye for now until next time.